Welcome to our channel Sankalp Study Success. So in this video we are going to see about F distribution here. What is F distribution and some of the problems of F distribution we will discuss in this video. So now coming to the F distribution it is test for equality of two variances. It is one of the test which is uh, previously we have studied about Z distribution that is nothing but normal distribution. So in this video we are going to study about F distribution. Here let us consider two samples of sizes N1 and N2. They are drawn from two normal population. So here then the test of hypothesis that two population variances are sigma 1 square and sigma 2 square. Here it is nothing but the equality of variances. So we are going to see about the variances in this distribution. There are two samples n1 and n2 and the variances are sigma 1 square and sigma 2 square. So here we are going to see whether these are equal or not. So in order to uh, say whether it is equal or not we are having few steps here so let us see the first one is null hypothesis here nh is nothing but null hypothesis in null hypothesis h0 is nothing but null hypothesis we will denote it as h0 and this is nothing but sigma 1 square is equal to sigma 2 square that means if they are equal we will say that it is as null hypothesis then Coming to alternative hypothesis, this is the second step which is alternative hypothesis, we will denote it by h1 and here it is sigma 1 square which is not equal to sigma 2 square. So now the third one is level of significance, level of significance is nothing but it is directly proportional to the given data, in the question you will be given level of significance. So we will just substitute the level of significance value here. And coming to the last step which is test statistics, in this test statistics we will simplify the value or we will solve it, we can say that. Here f is equals to f1 square by f2 square or f2 square by f1 square, you can do any, you can take any value, any formula. That is here according to if f1 square is greater than f2 square or if f2 square is greater than f1 square, you can take any one of these which follows f distribution then you will get it as n1 minus 1 comma n2 minus 1 or here if f2 square is greater than f1 square you will get n2 minus 1 comma n1 minus 1 respectively so here what is the formula f1 square is equals to n1 s1 square by n1 minus 1 this is the formula of f1 square n1 s1 square can also be written as summation of xi minus x bar whole square this is nothing but the variance right so we are going to see about the variances only so here this is nothing but the variance so formula of f1 square is summation of xi minus x bar whole square by n1 minus 1 and f2 square is summation of yi minus y bar whole square by n2 minus 1 so here let us see some problems let us solve some problems so that you will be clear with f distribution here there are two independent samples of sizes 8 and 7 here we are having two samples sample 1 and sample 2 according to these values we are going to see we are going to test is there any significance between two population variances at 5% uh, level of significance correct so here level of significance is already given to us so now what are the formulas of f1 square and f2 square let us write it here f1 square is nothing but summation of xi minus x bar whole square by n1 minus 1 right and here f2 square is nothing but summation of yi minus y bar whole square by n2 minus 1 right here f1 square and f2 square are already given here let us find out what is x bar and here let us find out what is y bar in order to substitute in these formula x bar is nothing but it is the mean of the first sample and y bar is nothing but it is the mean of the second sample right here it is x bar and here it is y bar so 9 plus 11 plus 13 
and so on up to 14 that is here we are adding all the values of the sample one then we will divide it by the number of values which is nothing but the mean sum of observations by number of observations here there are eight observations here right one two three four five six seven and eight there are eight observations so you will add all the observations and you will divide by the number of observations in order to get the mean so here x bar is nothing but you will get the value as 12 and here let us find out what is y bar 11 plus 13 plus 11 plus 14 plus 10 plus 8 plus 10 which is nothing but all the sum of observations of the second sample here there are seven observations right so you will divide it by seven so you will get y bar as the value of y bar is nothing but 11 here if you substitute all the values and if you find out the mean you will get 12 and 11 so now here we are going to find out the variance here we have found what is x bar and here we have found what is y bar now let us find out what is the variance of xi minus x bar whole square by then here we will find out summation of yi minus y bar whole square so xi minus x bar whole square summation of xi minus x bar whole square which is equals to 9 minus 12 whole square plus 11 minus 12 whole square plus 13 minus 12 whole square in the same way we will we will just add all the numbers 14 minus 12 whole square divided by 8 because all the number of observations are 8 here correct so we will divide it by 8 then you will get the value as 36 here now let us find out the variance of y bar also summation of yi minus y bar whole square which is nothing but what is y bar yi minus y bar here y bar is nothing but 11 and we will take all the numbers here 11 minus 11 whole square plus 13 minus 11 whole square plus 10 minus 11 whole square plus and so on you will go up to all the numbers till here that is nothing but 10 minus 11 whole square i think the third one is not 10 right third one is nothing but 11 only here so this is not 10 it is 11 actually so let us change it to 11 So this is nothing but 11 minus 11 whole square and divided by 7 because all the number of observations are 7 here. So we will get the value of this as 24. So here now we are going to just substitute the values in F1 square and F2 square. F1 square value is nothing but 36. You will divide it by N1 minus 1 right which is nothing but here it is n1 n1 is 8 here so number of observations are 8 so here you will divide it by 8 minus 1 which is nothing but 7 and here f2 square f2 square is nothing but here 24 is the variance and you will divide it by 7 minus 1 that is nothing but 6 so we will get f1 square value as 5.14 and f2 square value as 4 so now here uh, there is a little change in this uh, problem which is nothing but here we are finding the variance which is uh, where we will just only sum up here and then here also we are just finding the variance so let us only sum up we are just uh, adding all the variances here so okay this is the small change which we have and now continuing with the process first we will find out what is null hypothesis we know that null hypothesis is sigma 1 square is equals to sigma 2 square and here alternative hypothesis is nothing but sigma 1 square which is not equal to sigma 2 square so here we are already given with the level of significance in the question itself see here level of significance in the question is already given as 5% so here we will write it as level of significance alpha is equals to 5% so we are given with all the values now let us just solve it coming to the after level of significance we are having test statistics right that means what we are just finding f is equals to f1 square by f2 square so here f is equals to f1 square by f2 square 
So we are having the values of f1 square is 5.14 and value of f2 square is nothing but 4. So if you divide this you will get it as 1.285. So from the f distribution table from the chart of f distribution you can find out the value at 7 comma 8 because the given sample of sizes are 7 and 8 right. So from the f distribution table you can find it as the value you can you will get it as here it is 4.21 so this is the value so the value which we have got after simplification is 1.285 right so the value which we got it after simplification is less than the value which we got at uh, by seeing in the f distribution table right that means what 1.285 it is less than 4.21 that means what here h naught that is nothing but null hypothesis is accepted we can say that if the value which we got is less than the value from the f distribution table then you can say that the null hypothesis is accepted if in case your value which you have solved the value which you got is greater than the value from the f distribution table then you can say that null hypothesis is rejected this is the case so now let us this is the problem which we have in the which we are having all the problems will be of the same type in the f distribution the first one is just you have to find out what is f1 square and f2 square we are just finding the mean and then the variance you will just find the value of f1 square and f2 square then you will find out what is f that is nothing but the test statistic if our value is less than the value of the uh, f distribution table then it will be accepted what it will be accepted null hypothesis will be accepted otherwise null hypothesis will be rejected so this is the procedure which we have to follow for each and every problem so now let us see one more problem of the same model because we are having all the problems of same model in f distribution let us solve one more problem here here hence produced by two machines has the following info we are having the info of hence they are produced from two machines here test of hypothesis is given as 5% so we are going to see the value of at 5% level of significance what is the value in the f distribution table now the given one is m1 and m2 which are nothing but the size and standard deviations are given so here we are having size is nothing but n1 and n2 right so that means small n1 is equals to 16 and n2 is equals to 13 here we are given directly with the values there is no distribution given here they are already given with n1 and n2 here then standard deviation is also given which is nothing but s1 and s2 right s1 is nothing but 25 and s2 is nothing but 32 so here we are going to find out f1 square and also f2 square what is the formula of f1 square and f2 square here we are directly given with the n1 and n2 so there is no need to find out the variance again we are having the formula n1 s1 square by n1 minus 1 correct this is the f1 square and f2 square is into s2 square by n2 minus 1 so these are the formulas which we have so let us directly substitute the values n1 is nothing but 16 s1 square is nothing but 25 whole square by n1 minus 1 16 minus 1 is nothing but 15 right so here f1 square value you are going to get it as 6.67 sorry 646.67 Six, seven is the value of f1 square now let us solve the value of f2 square which is n2 is 13 and s2 is 32 whole square then you will divide it by n2 minus 1 that is nothing but 13 minus 1 which you will get it as 12 so here the value if you solve this value you will get it as 1109.3 this is the value of f2 square now let us follow the steps here which is nothing but null hypothesis null hypothesis is nothing but h naught is equals to sigma 1 square is equals to sigma 2 square right now the second one is alternative hypothesis which is nothing but denoted by h1 and here sigma 1 square which is not equal to sigma 2 square this is the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis so here 
we are already given with level of significance which is nothing but alpha is equals to 5% right here this is alpha is equals to 5% which is already given in the question itself so now we are just going to find out what is test statistics for each and every step you have to keep the heading completely null hypothesis alternative hypothesis like this you have to write step by step uh, in the step by step procedure if you write then you will get the full marks so here test statistics is nothing but f f is nothing but f2 square minus f f2 square by f1 square right so what is f2 square which is nothing but 1109.3 this was the value which we got and f1 square is nothing but 666.67 this is the value which we got here see this is actually 666.67 so here if you divide f uh, f value that is nothing but if you divide f2 square by f1 square then you will get it as 1.663 this is the value which you got so now this is the value which we got but if the value if you check it uh, at 5% uh, in the f distribution table at 12 comma 15 at 12 comma 15 why are we checking at only 12 comma 15 here is we are just taking one of the value and we are checking at f distribution which is nothing but we are getting it as 2.48 the value of f distribution from the distribution table is 2.48 that means what the value which you got 1.663 it is less than 2.48 that means therefore we can say that h0 is accepted that is null hypothesis is accepted here so